You can create animations on an iPad. So I am going to basically have you create this with me right now. We're gonna have some text that moves with a magic move transition. We're gonna add a shape. We're gonna write something and have it create a line draw animation. And then we're gonna export this as an animated GIF. So I am on my iPad and I'm gonna to go to presentations and I'm going to, at the top, click add new presentation and I'm going to just choose a theme. You can pick any theme that you want. I chose bold. I'm gonna go down, I'm more in favor of doing pink colors. So I'm just gonna choose a slide that kind of goes more with Valentine's here. I'm gonna choose this one. And I'm gonna take my slide one and press and hold and delete that one. And then where it says statement, I'm just going to type what I want it to say. I'm gonna select this text also and I'm gonna to go to my format tool here and under the text option, I wanna make my size bigger. And then just kind of center that on the page and you will have guides that pop up um, that will help you center things. I'm gonna tap on my slide and I'm gonna choose transition and I'm gonna add a transition. I'm going to choose magic move. Magic Move is a unique transition to Keynote, and it works on both Keynote for Mac and Keynote for iPad. So um, I'm gonna hit Done, and it's gonna say, hey, you need to duplicate this slide, and that's because to use Magic Move, you have to have the same object on two consecutive slides. So we're gonna duplicate that, and now you can see slides one and two match, and I have the magic move transition going. Now, nothing's happening yet because I haven't moved it, but I'm gonna take this text, Happy Valentine's Day, and I'm just gonna scoot it up to the top here. I'm gonna go back to slide one and I'm going to tap on my text and I'm going to tap animate and choose a build and I'm going to do a keyboard build. If you tap your object that you just did a build on again you can now see what is happening on that object and right now this text has a keyboard build and i can do other things to it i could add an action or a build out but what i'm going to do is i'm going to tap on keyboard and i'm going to just change my duration and i'm going to turn the cursor off and start it after transition and say done so now I'm gonna to move to my second slide and then you can draw a picture here, add a photograph, take a picture with your camera. When you hit the plus button, you have the option to add shapes, add images, you can record audio, you can do different things in here. But for the purposes of this, I'm just going to go to the shape tool. I'm gonna to search for heart, choose the heart and add it in. I'm gonna make it large, pretty big there. And then you can tap your paintbrush tool and really just stylize the sucker however you want um, for the look that you're going for. Okay, so I've got my heart. And now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take my Apple Pencil. Um, you can use a Logitech crayon. You could even technically use your finger. If you are using your finger, you'd wanna tap on the plus sign and insert, tap the picture icon and insert a drawing. But if you have an Apple Pencil, you don't need to do that. You just tap your pencil to the screen and your little animation toolbar will pop up here. Um, you, The first object will let you handwrite things that turn to text. I actually want my writing to be handwritten, so I'm gonna choose the second tool here, which is the pen, and come down into um, my color wheel, and I'm just gonna pick a really, really light pink color. And I'm gonna make sure my transparency is all, it's completely um, not transparent, and choose my thickest width on my pen. And I'm actually gonna scoot this toolbar over to the side to get it out of my way, Kind of zoom in here and just write whatever saying you want. And then I feel like that looks pretty good, but my U, I was really struggling with that one, so I'm gonna grab my little selector tool and just kind of drag around the sucker and you can resize. So you can kind of adjust, things are out of whack. Okay, 
Once you get it looking the way you want, just tap done in the upper left corner. And now this is an object you can kind of play around too with where things are at on the page. So now what I'm gonna do is tap done. I'm gonna tap on my um, text that I've written here and I'm gonna tap animate. And then you can choose to do a build. So I'm gonna do a build and I'm gonna do a line draw. And that will actually write it out and make it look like I wrote it. So tap done. And now tap on your drawing again. Go back to animate here and you can see that it's got the line draw on it. If I tap line draw, I can change the duration. I can make it start after transition and change the acceleration if I wanna mess with that. Um, I think my heart might need something. So I'm going to add a build there. I'm going to do a build with a pop. Now I'm going to choose my menu. And then I'm going to move this to the top. And make it happen after the transition. And my drawing is after build one. So I think all this looks pretty good. I'm going to just say done. Oh, let me play from the beginning. Okay, it's not wanting to go to the next slide automatically unless I tap the screen. So I mean, I'm gonna fix that. I'm gonna go back to my slide one, press and hold. I'm gonna go back to this transition, tap on it, and I'm gonna make sure my start is automatically. And play. There it goes. I am going to go to the top here and tap on my three dots. I'm going to go down to export and I'm going to export as an animated GIF and you can choose whatever size you want. It will show you your resolution at the bottom. So if it's something that's just going to be, you know, sent as a text 480 by 360 is fine. If you want it to look nicer on a larger screen, you're obviously going to change your size, your size. So I'm going to just export that and you can tap share. And then you can send it to anybody that you want via text. You can airdrop it. You can email it. You can save the image. You can do whatever you want to it. So all of those things are options.